G'day, this is Simon and James, South OC Cars and Coffee. We have got incredible weather this morning. It was really cold earlier on and meant a little bit of a slower start, but not the way it is now. Absolutely packed. And some really interesting cars. What have you seen? We have so many exotics here today, really high end stuff too. We have a Senna, a Pista, a bunch of Aventadors, a bunch of really highly modified Huracans and all that kind of stuff. So many cool cars. What have you seen? Well, we just had a Corvair roll in that I saw at SEMA a couple of weeks ago. Amazing build. I know you're thinking, oh, it's a Corvair. You wait till you see this thing over the top. And we've got the first of the new Corvette Z06s that I've seen in the flesh. The guy that brought that in, you may have seen his video on YouTube. He actually took it out, donoed the car, showed that it gets about 600 wheel horsepower on a dyno. So great to have that car here as well. Let's go for a walk and check some stuff out. This is the brand new Corvette C8 Z06. It's the first time that we've had one of these at the event and it is such a stunning car in person. There's so much carbon fiber on here, everything from the wheels to the mirrors, the roof, the wing, everything. Beautiful interior on this car as well. And the gentleman that owned it just had it dynoed and found that it made 600 wheel horsepower. All of that, of course, coming from the flat plane crank V8 that is new to the Corvette lineup. Such a cool car. This is a build that I think deserves a ton of hype. This is a turbo cup conversion that started as a Porsche 991.2 Turbo S and it has had a full cup car conversion, massive wing, roll cage, the full kind of race interior, you name it, even has the hood, the fenders, literally everything on this car converted to the cup spec. What an awesome build. Here we have a beautifully spec Ferrari 488 Pista. So much yellow on this car, the beautiful uh, yellow striped seats, yellow steering wheel, so many yellow accents, and then these really cool pinstripes. Love the spec of this. I think I've seen it at Supercars by the Sea last time we were there, as well as a few times at this event too. Just a very, very nice build. Here we have a McLaren Senna, the same one that you may have seen in the video last week, belongs to FSC LA, and this is just a beautiful spec. It has dry carbon all over it, and the hood, the mirrors, has that factory roof scoop as well. These beautiful buckets with red inserts in there as well. You can see just a little bit of red in those seats. Of course, you have all the other red accents on the car. This is the shop that owns it, FSE Racing. Wow. So late, you sip wine, I drink straight, don't waste time to my place. I feel my heart erase. So catch me if I fall. I saw this car at SEMA a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely incredible. It's a Corvair, it's a Camaro, it's sort of morphed the two together. Um, really, really amazing build and so much attention to detail. Beautiful wheels on it. You'll notice as well things like door handle delete. But a um, ton of carbon fiber on this car, the console, the dash, uh, you know, the, so many things about it. And you'll notice for a Corvair, there is something missing. There's no motor in the back there. This thing is actually running a 6.2 litre uh, LT1. So basically what they have in the uh, Gen 6 Camaros. Uh, amazing, amazing looking car. Once again, look at that carbon fiber, those beautiful wheels, carbon up the side. Really impressive car. I think we're going to be hard pressed to find a alternative for car of the week after looking at this thing. Um, we'll walk around, but it's a pretty strong contender, that's for sure. Catch me if I fall. Amazing looking GMC truck here. Look at this thing bagged, sitting down in the weeds under the hood, full blown resto mod here. It's got the new Willwood brakes. This looks like it's running an LSA. That's the supercharged uh, 6.2 litre from General Motors. Beautiful looking wheels on this thing. Gorgeous interior. This is a great looking truck. Love the fuel cap as well. Molotov cocktail <laughs> waiting to happen. But have a look at the detail underneath here. Just the, the whole chassis and the subframe. and um, It's just absolutely incredible. Really, really neat beautiful on every angle this is also a 
car of the week contender when you look at it just amazing looking thing very clean I want to be the greatest everybody on the face shit. I look around I feel like everybody is the fakers I make this this is not something you see every day little Volvo 544 super clean again really interesting build wonderful looking leather trim seat somebody's put a lot of time and attention into this thing and it's great to see I mean a lot of people wouldn't look at a car like this to to do up but somebody obviously has and loves this thing and man that's great love the variety that we get at the show see this thing here before uh, it's kind of a Volkswagen and then you get towards the uh, Volkswagen end at the back and uh, not so much anymore little e ecotech motor in there so somebody's done a ton of work once again this thing all the framework and everything really cool next to it a thing and uh, a couple of telltales that fuel cell cell sitting underneath there and those uh, suspension tops there this thing is not stock either so a couple of great looking vehicles side by side do me a favor don't treat me like a neighbor don't need the different flavors of your problems just to save her i've got my own issues i need a comb to get through don't need to groan with you just go get your wrong tissue something else i've never seen at the show look at this international truck it's an s120 according to the badge inline six big old bench seat in there i wish some of these things could tell a story of their past i'm sure this has done some really cool things whether it was owned by a farmer or a delivery person that's ah, really great isn't it once again somebody's put some tlc into this thing and bring it out of the show great to see Check out this beautiful 1960 Bel Air. This is a really cool looking car. It looks so stock until you see there's a side pipe sticking out the side and big rubber on the back. And under the hood, the only engine that's ever been sung about, that is a 409. Of course, you know the Beach Boys. Think, think, think about a, uh, any other song that's been sung about a particular engine and I can't think of one. So great seeing that in there. Now, the really interesting way to see these particular motors is that, see how there's a scallop on the side of the valve cover? The thing that differentiated this motor from previous engines and also even the, the big blocks which were to follow, like the 396, is the actual chamber is in the cylinder not in the head. If you pull most heads off of most motors, you'll see that there's actually a chamber in there where the firing takes place. Well, the chamber was actually built into the cylinder of the 409, and that made them very, very difficult to get a lot of horsepower out of them. And what's interesting is there's actually a class of drag racing built around this specific motor. So great that it's there's people that still love it, they still want to work on it. There's people that figure out better ways to get more horsepower out of these things over the years, like all engines. But this was a really iconic engine that wasn't around for very long. Um, so great to see it in this car. And this shape, 1960, just classic lines. You know, this two-tone paint on this thing looks great. The 1960, of course, had those uh, triple tail lights at the back, a real signature look that went on for, for Chevys uh, for previous years. Um, the year before this, of course, 59 actually had those teardrop tail lights, which at the time 
people actually didn't like them and now they are a collector's item. So great to see this car at the show. Somebody's put a lot of time and effort into it. Really good looking car and always good to see a 409 under the hood because they are just not that common. Austin Healy Sprite, also known as the Bug Eye Sprite. Little wonder with those eyes there. A little tiny, lightweight sports car out of the UK. There was the bigger MG, there was also the smaller MG Midget, and then there was this little guy. And once again, cult following, people love them. Great little fun car to drive. It's yours, is it? Yeah. What a great little car. How long have you owned it? But eight or nine years. I'm just going to jump around this way so I can get you the microphone. So, twin SU carbs on it, I take it? Yes, that's true. They're a great little car, great little track car. There is that little Austin motor. These motors were used in just about everything. They were the same motor, but obviously in the east-west configuration. It's used in minis. They were used in, in all sorts of Morrises. Um, configurations and MGs, all part of that that British Leyland group. They were. They were. And, and SU carbs down here, great little carb when you know how to tune them, and there's a bit of a secret to them. You tune them, there's a gauge you can get to, to measure them. You basically disconnect the linkage between the two of them, and then you adjust the idle screw to get one of them idling, and then you basically you, you remove the air cleaners, and you've got a little measurement gauge which can go over each of them until you get the gauge at the right area. Or if you do, like I used to on my triples, because I was used to tuning a guitar, I'd tune them by ear, and you could actually hear the, the, the sound that the air run it rushing into them. That's all true. And all well and good until the oil that is in down on the top of these areas, which is basically just sewing machine oil, until it either dissipates because it's got too hot, and then all of a sudden it starts running rough, or if there's an extreme climatic change, which changes the viscosity of the oil. I actually have sewing machine oil. You have sewing machine oil in there. Yeah, we're giving away the trade secrets, but great little car. Lots of fun to drive. My uh, one of my brother-in-laws uh, actually had exactly this car when he started going out with my uh, my sister, and I remember taking it for a drive, thinking how much fun it was. Hey, thank you so much All for bringing right. it out. Great little car. Enjoy. You got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. <laughs> It is a busy show this week. Check this out. This is the overflow lot. If I do a pan around, absolutely full over this side too. So, perfect weather. Everyone's brought their cars out this weekend. Once again, ton of motorcycles, perfect weather. Look at this little guy here. Isn't that great? Check out the line through here. That's going to do it for another packed weekend here at South OC Cars and Coffee. Uh, please remember, if you do want to come to the event, no revving, no speeding, and no burnouts, and please make sure to keep it slow and quiet while you get on and off the freeways. I want to give a huge shout out to all of our sponsors. We have Meguiar's, Polestar, PDM brand, Next Level Detailing, RPM Tesla, Aftermarket Accessories, Carbontastic, and then MW Company as well, which of course is the parent company of uh, Forged Star Momo. So many other awesome brands. I want to give it also a huge thank you to all the volunteers for coming and helping us put on this event each and every week. We really couldn't do it without them. If you want to become a volunteer, hit us up on Instagram at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. It's where we handle all of our volunteer rostering. And then while you're over there, check out some of the new designs. We've got so many cool things coming yep. out. Um, please remember as well, if you are a volunteer, you get to come in before 8.30 as well. And then Ruby Tana does also provide a free coffee and donuts. And then if you are watching this next Sunday, we have our next Supercars by the Sea event. It's going to be from 8 to 11 a.m. at Bolsa Chica State Beach. It's going to be a really good event. It's uh, supercars, hypercars, and other exotics only. We do open to spectators as well if you don't own one of those cars. Absolutely. Big thank you to Outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. We really appreciate that. The City of San Clemente and the Mayor, Gene James, for his support as well. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. That is it. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you. <laughs>